Hello everyone. My name is Puneet Tudeja and I am the Solution Architect, Customer Success for Informatica. So we will be continuing with part two of the session uh, for data profiling, where we'll be covering the data profiling of a source maplet, scorecard, and uh, creation of rule specification in the advanced mode. So for today's agenda, we'll be covering the prerequisites for a source maplet for profiling, create data profiling task with maplet, add rules, DQ rule occurrence to profiling task, generate scorecard in CDGC, create rule specification in the advanced mode. So uh, before we uh, get into the uh, maplet uh, for profiling, uh, let's understand that why firstly we required the uh, maplet for profiling. So in the previous uh, uh, part one that we had, we saw that uh, we, uh, we profiled a single uh, snowflake table. So we have seen the requirement coming from various customers that we want uh, the ability to profile multiple tables where it is not possible that uh, we create a single view every time because the uh, data is coming from various sources and uh, it's uh, not business, uh, practically possible that everything should be created as a single table or a single view for the combinations that we want to profile against. So in order to uh, overcome that scenario, uh, the ability to uh, maplet has been created. So which typically allows you to bring in multiple sources as part of the maplet. And then you can, based on the business case, use case, uh, you can uh, profile or you can uh, insert the data quality uh, on a multiple tables simultaneously. So now, uh, as part of the prerequisites, a maplet would contain the default logic as uh, input to output. So uh, remove the input, re replace with the uh, sources that you have, and uh, the, uh, the output remains as same. Uh, maplet should be valid. A uh, maplet can have multiple sources, but only one output. You cannot add active maplets to a profile. Uh, maplets that support parameters or requires connection for lookups are not supported currently. So only following transformations are supported in the maplet for profiling, filter, joiner, expression, union, aggregator, sorter. Exception tasks are not supported for the profiling of source maplets currently. It is on the CDU team's roadmap. Now, uh, talking about the rule specification in the advanced mode. So it is basically a script editor that allows you to uh, you know, code in a low code format uh, with the ability of highlighting code suggestions in nine functions, mapped helps. So all those things are there. So it's basically the conditional lo logic using the if then else capabilities, support to call rules, dictionaries, maplets, complex expressions in the expression logic. Similarly, like the way you do in the basic uh, uh, like uh, mode as well, support for decision transformation. So basically a market trend for low code empowering businesses to go for a little bit more complex use cases as compared to basic and more suitable for customers with excellent macro experiences. So with this, let's uh, straight away jump into the demo. So here, uh, you know, uh, the way we started with the last time. So here I have one of the table as LDO underscore customer, which has my columns as customer ID, name, address, website, credit limit, and zip code and country. Now I have a second table as LDO order that cost ID, product ID, order date, quantity, price, cost. So as a uh, part of my previous use case, I had a, uh, a rule specification created where I had a combination of product ID and the country. So I wanted to check that. So now there, since they are coming from two different tables, I need to create a maplet, which is something I go to my data integration. I've created a maplet out of this. So these are my source tables, LDO customer and LDO order, which is something if you see, these are from the snowflake and coming as a table. And then I'm using a joiner transformation and creating the output. So this is the maplet I've created. Once a maplet is created, validate it, save it, and you should see the valid. That is a, a prerequisite for that. So once that is there, go to your uh, data profiling. Okay. And now if while you while we create a data profile, create a data profiling task, you have the option to select the connection as uh, the required source. So here we have the option for maplet as well. So select the maplet, 
and once you select the maplet it will show you all the maplets available uh, you can select the maplet uh, that you have created for profiling purposes so i go there i selected the maplet and populate all the columns i selected the columns as before and then i execute the profile and it shows me or i see all the results as the null not null percentage distinct non distinct and again i can see all the trends over their data types patterns most frequent values as we saw in the uh, uh, part one session as well in the similar lines uh, you know we add the, uh, so rest everything remains as we saw in the part one where you add the rules you create the matrices dimensions everything remains same in fact i am i'm actually repurposing the all the rules that i created before and then uh, you have all the same insights that will get generated over here and then once the matrices and everything is populated you hit view scorecard and the uh, your scorecard gets generated over there similarly the way we saw before you can uh, do a preview of the field rows as well so everything remains same in that scenario just the capability you have over here is that it allows you to uh, you know work on the multiple source tables simultaneously okay so it is something similar to the ldo concept that we used to have in the idq this is not exactly ldo but uh, you know we can uh, create a maplet with the logic and perform the uh, you know profiling over there so with this uh, let's uh, jump to the rule specifications in the uh, advanced mode so when you go to the data quality you create a rule specification and in the rule specification while you are creating you have the option uh, you go to the configuration tab and here by default it is the basic mode now on the top you see switch to the advanced mode so this option is only available while creation so you can select either the waste mode or the advanced mode so once you create another basic rule and you save it you won't see this option so you cannot switch to advanced after that similarly if you have created any other rule specification in advanced mode you can't switch back to basic mode so once you have so i have created one of the rule specification where i am trying to Uh, uh where the logic i have defined is if state is within the dictionary dq state data which is the dq state data that we saw it before yeah then replace the content with third column of the dictionary which is like i want to replace with third column so wherever if any of the values coming from column 1 or column 2 column 3 it will be able to replace with column 3 okay or if state is not null then valid else it's invalid that's the logic i have defined so i go to test i run a test here i see for texas it's valid it replaces with tx dallas is it's not a state so so it, but it's since it's not null it's valid it's valid now az is az and delaware is for like as every other it replaces with d that is what it is now the similar logic i have tried to create over here in the advanced mode which is something if state is not null then output is valid now if state is in dictionary which is the dictionary we have replace with the third column of the dictionary and if out else output is not valid so similarly the way we have the test option over there the similarly we have the runtime test option over there we select the secure agent execute it and you see the exact same results we are seeing over here so so it so it is more uh, you know a flexibility where the users can select the basic mode or the advanced mode depending upon what uh, gives them more comfort zone or whatever is more convenient for them uh we would love to hear the feedback from you so uh you may send your feedback at the support videos at informatica.com or at the twitter link uh shared below uh thanks everyone uh for watching the video and your time